We've known that International Rally Queensland is always a tough event, has proved that once again, our opening day of our endurance round. And I don't think there's a team up and down the field that hasn't had some sort of problem. Uh, has even taken out a couple of our leading contenders, including Tony Sullins and, of course, Simon Evans behind us. It is the end of leg one. Let's go into the service park now and catch up with all our teams. Eli Evans, a, not a day without drama, but you've come out on top, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Dino. Uh, you've got a nice lead, so... Being an endurance event, it's important to um, capitalise on a nice lead today, and we can. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll. Um, I'll go flat out in the morning, as <laughs> as I know. I'm not going to lie, as I normally would. Um, and you know, Simon and Molly are going to be going for the heat win tomorrow. So if I can stay in touch, I'll be pretty happy, and we'll make an assessment on uh, where we're at. Short left eight into short right six in. You know, we'll go flat out. I've I've put more K's in than anyone else, so That's I should be in the groove and. Jump. Um, keep it neat, keep the throttle on and keep turning in and, and um, we'll see if we can match Simon's pace like I expect. Um, beast mode from Simon tomorrow, he's going to go berserk so um, if we can keep in touch with him and keep the pressure on, we might be able to force another mistake, we never know. So we haven't had a good day, uh, we've limped through um, but everyone else is having issues too so uh, points wise it's not all that bad. Even though you say it's one of your toughest days, as you say, to have limped through the way you done, you have is probably the best move you've made in a lot of in a lot of senses. Yeah, well, after the first stage, we were weighing up whether we come straight back here and fix the car and have a go for the, the Salvo stages, but I'm glad we limped through, kept pouring water in it, and, yeah, we've come out better off, I think. Happy to be here, happy to be in second. It's uh, not the way you want to do it, but, um, you know, we've, we've kept our nose clean, and um, we've, I, think, well, I think we're second, so... Uh, according to boss man, nearly reckons that's the case. So, uh, yeah, like I'm not overly happy with my driving at the moment, but I need to try and uh, sort that out tomorrow. But we'll, we'll take what we can. Molly Taylor, that's a tough afternoon for you through there. Talk us through what the drama was and how you cope with it. Yeah, we had a, a really tough afternoon and, and really lucky to be here. Um, just uh, when we were, had the, after the refuel, we uh, we heard something. Uh, funny from the front, like the, the fan was hitting on something, so we opened the bonnet to have a look and there was just water pouring out everywhere and we couldn't find where the, the leak was coming from. Um, and then it turned out we'd take the fan out and um, there was a, a really small hose uh, that was split and the coolant was pouring everywhere. So then I tried to fix that and um, yeah, we, we got we got going, um, but dropped, uh, well, we're 25 minutes late to the next stage, so we dropped um, yeah, four and a half minutes there and, and then the throttle stuck open on the next stage, which was... Very scary, <laughs> um, and then we fixed that, and then we uh, yeah, had two stages to get through cleanly. But um, yeah. Ashley James, tricky day for you as well. Big thing, endurance rally. You have persevered, done all the stages. Fourth, even though not the day you wanted, you're still hanging in. That's what you got to do in this sport, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Look, we might have dropped back a little bit on that last stage. We had trouble getting up one of the hills that was so far down on power. Um, you know, it, we stopped and put a new TPS in it actually in between stages, <laughs> got the laptop out and retuned it and um, that, didn't, that, that didn't end up being the issue, it was actually water down, down the spark plug, so yeah. Just, trying day. Is that it. part likely to rock up tonight or are you going to have to do the same sort of perseverance tomorrow? Uh, we'll, we've got a couple of more spares so we'll persevere with that and we'll um, glue the plug leads in, hopefully seal them up nice and tight and make it a bit more like a submarine for tomorrow. <laughs> Mark Petter, despite all your problems, a second lead, it looks like, or just under a second. Amazing. Yeah, no, it is. We had a look at the times at the end. We've gone, oh, that's a little bit of a, a surprise, but, yeah, quite nice. Um, and, yeah, look, it was a, a super tough day. Like, we really didn't have a clean stage anywhere through the day. We had, you know, a niggly drama here and there. So to pull it through and, um, yeah, pop a, pop a win for the day is, is quite pleasing. Yeah. The thing is, you're inching so close to that nearly perfect stage to get yeah, to grips with this car, you can see the smile growing on your face with all that. Yeah, like like I've said to a few of the boys, like it's it's almost there. Um, you know, if we can just get the thing, you know, the engine's still got a bit of a miss. Um, we're pretty close with the suspension setup now, I think, and I, you know, I just, and I think the rest of it's just me learning how to drive it. So you know, if we can have a couple of clean stages, you know, really start to get to know the car a bit, you know, the potential's endless for this thing. Mick Patton didn't quite get it all fixed in the service and persevered with the problem this afternoon, but still in the hunt, only just over a minute uh, off the lead in four-wheel drive. It's pretty good. Yeah, look, we had a really good afternoon. Um, we had no fifth or reverse, so we are very conscious of not spinning anywhere in there, but um, look, I think this afternoon we picked up every stage win again, which was nice. So the only one that we dropped today was the one where we had issues on. Um, 
So yeah, look, that's that's really pleasing. But the the main thing is we're we're still out in the forest and uh, we're still back on the the run sheet today as well and and still going. So that's the main thing. Kent, you are one of the few teams we're chatting to that's had a pretty good day, mate, and only I think less than a second off the lead. Good job. Yeah, no, look, absolutely. I mean, we've we have had a good day. So we've had no breakages, no damage. Um, everything's been going well. We've uh, extended all our awesomeness today and, and gave it everything we had. But uh, we are where we are, and it's a good result. So we're pretty excited. This is what makes this sport pretty cool, isn't it? We all have ups and downs and dramas here and there, and you've had a really good day, power stage yesterday. Uh, probably one of the better moments and days in uh, your rallying, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, look, 95% of it was good, right? We still had a few little moments <laughs> in there, but uh, nevertheless, it's sort of a chuckle and a bit of a laugh and keep going. So uh, we kept the spirit good in the car, which is great.